In today's video, I'm going to create a super glam, very sparkly DIY using these beautiful coasters from the rain store. I'm using two packs, four of them is $3.99, practically one pound each coaster, and I'm going to be using it three of them on the side, three of them at the back, and two on the sides. So I hope you enjoy this video. As you can see, it has a thickness, so when I stick them together, one side is exposed, so I need to sort that out by applying glue as well as glitter. Once I finish this pot, I am going to be styling with it in my entryway, so make sure you stay until the end. In here, I'm trying to determine which sides I need to uh, apply the glue and the glitter because I don't want it to be in the front, I want it to be on the sides. I established which ones I needed to apply the glue and the glitter and now it's time to do it. I'm using Mod Podge and medium size silver glitter. All done, now I need to stick the front tiles as well as the back tiles using this new glue that I bought along with the hot glue gun. I only bought this because of its nib, I didn't want to deal with the paintbrush but it was very difficult to squeeze. After joining them together, I made sure I close all the gaps with the hot glue gun for extra durability. I stuck the sides the same way and filled the gaps in the corners. Off camera, I drew inside the uh, pot and cut this base out of foam board. And it was the perfect fit and now I need to glue it at the bottom. I used the glue as well as the hot glue all four sides and set the structure on top and once that dried I placed a floral foam and using these beautiful hydrangeas that I bought from the range store I'm using two packs and I believe I paid $3.99 per bunch.
and I'm really loving the fact that it's hiding the uh, black neoprene on the sides of the coasters and now I'm going to add a little bit more texture by applying matching color eucalyptus. And I bought this eucalyptus from Danelm. I don't remember how much I paid, but the color goes really, really well with these hydrangeas. And let's get the decorating done. I prepared a few stars for you. Don't forget to leave me a comment at the bottom to tell me which one you preferred. So this is style number one. Really, really loving the product that I produced. The front is beautiful and the sides that glitter worked really well. It looks like part of the design, very high end in a very affordable price. And the color of the flowers really complements this wreath that I produced and I share that video with you. This candle holder is from HomeSense and the texture of the bling inside is very similar. The only difference is the size to the coasters and I really love it. candle is also from the range store and I really love the blingy feather effect. Really loving the bling loving the symmetry of the design and the color and the floral is just simply gorgeous and I really really love this arrangement this is a new artwork that I created for my entryway and I'm trying to capture the colors on my decor This mirrored box is a must on our entryway as we put our keys and sunglasses so I came up with a style number two to house that box. The must on this entryway table is this uh, heart shape money bank for our change and I bought it from Poundland a few years ago and the colors goes perfectly with the floral. And on the final styling I placed the candle holder, a tall candle holder from HomeSense in the middle and I balanced the items that I have to have and the item that I want to have. What do you think? Star number one, two or three? Please leave a comment below. You know how much I love to read your comments.
hope you enjoyed watching this video and found it inspirational for your own home. If you did, please subscribe to my channel, like and share this video with your loved ones. And until the next video, bye bye.